and we are back with more of this nonsense. We are here to do the final level of the original game's campaign, so the spring offensive is the final one. This level, I apologize, but I've already tried this several times uh, and failed horribly. This level is going to be done on casual. Uh, if someone wants to give me a strategy for normal or higher, that'd be good. If Probably if I focused a bit more and seriously tried at this, I would probably be capable of doing it normal, but I'm actually talking, and it, it may sound odd, but it actually makes games harder to do when you're sitting here talking and trying to come up with some sort of witty commentary, which I usually fail at coming up with witty commentary, but I do come up with commentary. So I've got half of it down, I just need to get the witty part down. Although people like watching me and people say I have good commentary, so I guess I'm doing something right. I just have to grow my small uh, fan base, which is very small, by the way. Quite small indeed. You look at my subscriber count and you're like, wow, 600 something people. But then I look at the views, I don't really pay attention to subscriber count that much. I look at views and there's probably only 20 people that are subscribed to me that actually watch all of my stuff. But again, I've had this discussion many a time. Mostly on the stream. This isn't streamed, by the way. Uh, so we'll ignore that. But again, uh, this loading screen here could potentially be long. I am, again, rendering in the background, so I'm trying to maximize my time today. Uh, if I was intelligent, I would have rendered everything yesterday, but I'm not intelligent, so we're doing it today while I record. Um, what I'm trying to do, actually, is trying to uh, render out the four hours of Final Fantasy XII I have sitting on my computer. Four hours! That's about 650 gigabytes or so. Something around that range. 650, 700 gigabytes. So I'm trying to render that out. Sorry if that uh, little tick thing I just did was loud. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. But anyway, trying to render that out so I can delete it off of my hard drive after I check to make sure it renders out properly. Um, and that's hilarious. There's a guy running on the wheel down there to power the gears. Little touches like that are hilarious. But anyway, delete that so I can uh, record a bunch of stuff, uh, start streaming today, etc, etc, etc. Potential for a big day. Anyway, there's a train. You might notice, uh, if you recall, in the picture of this level, there's a very large train with a gun. It's right there. You might also notice that the railroad track actually goes straight to the toy box. It's uh, really quite silly. But anyway, I'm going to put a machine gun, another machine gun, and we are going to probably... I'm not sure what I'm going to put there, but... We're going to go ahead, grab a big wheelie tank, start running crap over left and right. What we need to do, or what I want to do, is I'm going to head this way. Why am I going to head this way? Because there's actually a large uh, deployment spot over here that I want to clear out on my way to butchering things in a this worldly direction. And there's also emplacements that I want to kill somewhere. Pretty sure I'm already getting shot at by one, but... This is a relatively hard level, but due to the fact that we do get more money and the enemies have less health on casual, I should be able to finish this relatively well. There he is. Hello, I'm stuck. Please don't butcher me. It spawns a lot of enemies on this area. And when I say a lot of enemies, I mean a... Am I stuck? I'm stuck. That's lame. Guess I'm gonna have to abandon vehicle here because that thing's completely worthless. Uh, lots of enemies are spawned here. Uh, it's, it's obscene, to be honest. So gas there, gas there. Um, I need a pom pom, and I'm going to upgrade that immediately. I'm going to upgrade both of these. Although that's risky considering they're being attacked right now. And uh, I'm not sure. What else I need to do immediately here? I may end up doing what I did uh, last time. Why is that thing so hurt? Wow, there's a mortar shooting it, isn't there? Yep, yeah, there is. Sell that, thank you. Will it shoot that one is the question. Yes, it will. Well, both of those are completely worthless, so I hope my machine gun turrets can handle it. I'm actually going to put a third one down here just in case. I may, actually, may, I may actually do what I did before and use basically entirely anti-air, but for now I'm actually going to do that. Upgrade it. Lots of upgrading here. I need to get my wheelie tank. Or 
Yeah, big willy tank. This is not the other tank. Hello, that's what I wanted to shoot at the very beginning. Going to be tricky because it can actually hit me, and I appear to have aiming issues actually firing on the stupid thing. I have to shoot up there to hit him, which is just atrocious. Luckily, I do have that level 2 howitzer, which should give me some assistance here. And it looks like he's actually firing at my howitzer. No, he's not. As I say that as a shell hits my tank there. So that's good. My 70 whatever bajillion D is doing well. You there, you there. Upgrade again. Giant waste of money it was last time to do that. Okay. I think the infantry actually run across the railroad track here. We'll see about that. And so that's going to be in the back doing its thing. Probably going to need a, a mortar there. What is that? Level... No, that's anti-air. Oh, there you go. Air mortar. Upgrade it. Lots of difficulty in this map. Again, we are doing it on casual, so we should have an advantage. You'll note there's actually a turret back here. There's a reason for that, because there's a freaking train right there. There's also two here, and whatnot. We want to, as quickly as possible, actually take those emplacements. There's not really any re uh, real worry, per se, about the train coming in, you know, on the third wave or something, but it is recommended to grab those and use uh, mortars. Just fill it with mortars. Mortars everywhere. All the mortars in the known world need to be put right there. So, keep that in mind. There'll be lots of mortars on this level. So I slowly make my way over here. I guess I can start shooting them from here since they can't shoot this far, doesn't look like. Those look like level 1 mortars. Can I hit both of them? That'd be pretty sweet. No. Well, oh well. Hello, don't shoot at me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. There's some vehicles. Vehicles are, for the most part, going to have to be dealt with by me. Uh, so that's going to take up some of my blowing stuff up time, because I only have one howitzer. I may actually switch my uh, anti-aircraft position, because where it's at is not the optimal spot. So the optimal spot, surprisingly enough, is actually right there. I'm not sure why that's the optimal spot. You can also do... Uh, at least from what I've seen, that seems to be optimal. You can also... Let me just blow this crap up first. Get my focus on blowing that thing up. You can put the anti-air where I currently have my howitzer and then fill the other two slots with uh, howitzers. That's also a really good spot to do. Uh, it's actually probably what I might do, because having a howitzer on this forward spot here is actually really good. Uh, because it'll give them clean access on the train. So let's go ahead and do that, actually. So sell you... Uh, howitzer there, rotate him, and then anti-air, upgrade, I'm gonna make sure that's at level 3 before I sell this other one here. This one is the safest for the early waves because it's actually right next to your uh, box, so you don't have to worry about it too much. But, you know, bombers, there's the Whippet tank by the way. We don't have any aircraft as far as I'm aware, so I'm not, oh yeah we do, Never mind. We have everything, um loud in the game. So he's firing. We can go ahead and remove this turret and replace it with a howitzer. Upgrade it. Lots of upgrading involved here, and this is going to need to be upgraded as well. All of these need to be upgraded. Now imagine doing this on a harder difficulty where I have basically no money. You'll note, uh, you actually have I don't think you normally have 30 lives. I haven't really been paying attention at all. I'm pretty sure you normally have 20 lives. If you don't, well then just ignore me. But now you have 30. So they give you a bit of a buffer there. So he's going to need to be upgraded to level 3 soon. Or eventually, not soon. But This, is, this level is also one of the few levels where there's basically a bajillion routes into your base. It's not like the others where there's, you know, obvious two or three routes. Well, here you can see there's only really this area that they can go through to get into it, but everything out here, they will take basically every road in this town, willy-nilly, they drive basically everywhere. It's kind of obscene, but whatever. Should be able should be able to handle it well enough. Um, you need to upgrade, and then I'm going to start throwing out mortars back here. Starting with this one. And both of these. There we go. Yay, mortars! They shouldn't fire at this guy, because he's not actually a target until the uh, boss encounter starts, I suppose. I should figure out what the hotkey is for upgrading, so I don't have to open that menu every single freaking time. 
It's also not terribly good that it has a water tower right next to him, but whatever. You can deal with it. There's uh, two vehicle spawns. There's one over here you can see. There's uh, two little vehicle spawns. I actually don't think that spawn... That must be the stable there. So that's probably where horses are. This is the little vehicle spawn that spawns like the infantry push uh, bunker things or whatever. Another uh, infantry bunker there. There's, I think, another one here. Yep, yeah, there should be one... Should be a third one somewhere, unless I'm mistaken. I must be mistaken. There's a lot of spawn points, let's just put it that way. Lots of spawn points. He can't hit the anti air, can he? Nah, yeah, he can actually. He killed him. So all enemy emplacements are destroyed. Hopefully, that flag can easily handle aircraft. Yeah, this is why I like flag, by the way. It's amazing. Literally just ripped through that spawn. So he's level 2, he's level 2, you're going to be upgraded last, and upgrade you. Mortars, albeit, albeit uh, not terribly effective at actually uh, hitting multiple things, they do a lot of damage. In fact, I'm pretty sure a level 3 mortar actually does more damage than a level 3 howitzer. Um, actually, it might do less, I think it might do more damage over time because it shoots faster, but anyway. Uh, you need to rotate. He can't quite shoot that far, but I need him pointing that way because these guys coming up here. Um, that's level 3. That one will be level 3 eventually. At some point or another, um, when the final wave comes, by the way, with the boss, I will be selling these flamethrower turrets here. Um, potentially it will be selling the... Kill it? There we go. Potentially we'll also be selling these machine guns in the back, but I don't want to say I'm going to do that quite yet, because I'm not fully sure. All of those infantry just got horrifically butchered. And I'm going to upgrade him to 3, and I'll upgrade the other one to 3 here in a moment. Lots of level 3 stuff. I like to leave the infantry guns at level 2, quite frankly, because the AI sucks at using the level 3 ones. It cannot hit anything. The level 3 ones are better, because uh, of the splash damage, they just can't hit anything with the AI, so you really have to, to watch them a lot. You'll notice there's actually another uh, tunnel here. That's because the train actually, uh, as you might expect, before going all the way into your toy box immediately, considering it has a, basically a straight line, it actually moves around a little bit, like the other bosses, and twiddles about and wastes time. Not sure why those horses are pathing the longest way possible, but whatever. Who am I to complain about their stupidity? And there's the majestic level 3 howitzer with its be beastly range there. Beastly. It also looks really cool. I mean, you, you really can't look at this howitzer and say it doesn't look like it's going to hurt. I mean, it's even got the ammo crane here that it had to use to put ammo in it. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like how stuff looks in this game. It's got a really pleasing aesthetic feel to it, I guess. I'd horribly butcher that, but whatever. Chemical will basically stop anything that comes up. The level 3 chemical, wh while it's very good, is not quite as effective uh, as the level 2 one here. Uh, it does huge amounts of damage, but it's a it acts as a mortar, so it will actually occasionally take a pretty long time to do what it's supposed to do. But I'm actually going to upgrade... No, I'm not. Never mind. Because I'm going to sell those at some point, so I'll just leave them like that. But those horses should be handled, maybe. Theoretically should be handled. There we go. Okay. You can also take the sniper tower. I don't know where the golden box is in this level. Um, it's probably... They're all hidden away. I was going to say it's probably hidden away somewhere in a corner, but they're all hidden away in corners. So, Like that one that was under the bridge. Which There's really no reason to go over there. Is that another anti-air? Yeah, it is. No reason to even deal with that, unless I plan on using aircraft to fight the train, which is a decent idea. Uh, it's not bad. The thing you'll notice, actually, uh, and I forgot to mention this, with the level 3 howitzers, is they actually have uh, a smaller arc of fire there. They actually have 45 degrees instead of uh, 90, so there is a bit more of micromanagement involved with those. Nothing too crazy, though, so... I don't need to worry too too much about that. Let's go ahead and get in the big willy here. Come here, big willy. That was a very large explosion. Those are the howitzer shots, by the way. The obscenely large splash explosions that happen. Totally the howitzers. Like that. They kill basically everything in the radius that they shoot on casual, so you don't have to worry about 
where they're shooting, they'll just kill stuff every time they shoot, so... Good stuff. I really wish they kept the 90 degree firing arc that the lower level ones did, but I guess you kind of have to balance them somehow, because they, if they had a 90 degree they'd be kind of overpowered. Just so you know. Uh, are they coming from the left side? Yes sir. So, do that for now. You should be firing backwards, right? Yes, arc that way. Okay. Lots of management with the level 3 howitzers on this level. But this one howitzer should be able to handle half of these things alone, because again, one shot kill. The mortar should more than likely end up killing the others, unless they have timed the firing wrong. Yeah. Firing's a bit off, but whatever. Let's grab the whippet tank then, I suppose. I like how the, the tanks that you have control of are actually sitting inside of like crumbled old buildings and stuff. Hello. I'm a whippet. What are you? I don't actually know what these things are called, but they're probably obviously unique to the game. Most of the units in this game are actually unique to the game. I don't... I'm pretty sure... well, not... let me rephrase that. I'm pretty sure they didn't make toy soldiers of these little tanks. <laughs> they're not unique to the game, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure these were actually designed uh, during World War One. World War One had some really weird tank designs. I'm pretty sure those were one of them, though. The, can't flip over tank design probably was one of the designs that was used. Um, don't even care about those, to be honest. They can do whatever. Apparently three things got into my toy box while I wasn't paying attention, but whatever. Let's see. I wish you could scroll this so you could see what's coming and you could plan, but eh. It's not too bad. I guess I may as well upgrade this thing since I basically have unlimited funds now. Unlimited funding. Woo. I'm not. I don't recall what the train spawns. I think it's the same as the um, survival train. So it would spawn these little dudes here if it's the same. I assume it is. That'd be the best assumption for this kind of situation. So. Kill it. There we go. Just gonna leave him to die right there. My God, that howitzer's got some crazy range. You earned Cutthroat! Yay! That was the gather 15,000 uh, money foods on this level. Ra ration ticket. Ration ticket. That's the easiest way, obviously, to get ration tickets is to do it on easy. You don't have to be on the harder difficulties to actually get them, but... If you want to, you can. It doesn't really matter. If, you, if you're just achievement whoring, you may as well just do it on the easier difficulties, then. Um, so aircraft don't even matter because that guy's just gonna roll through all of them solo basically In fact, I could probably spawn the other um, Kill it there we go the other aircraft wave during that one and still be fine, but So there's nothing spawned may as well launch those may as well You'll notice just like other uh, Turrets that the AI controls they will actually tend to fire a little bit preemptively Launch those as well. Look how they come from over there. It's weird. It actually points up. Oh, it points at the flare, not at where they actually spawn. But you'll note the uh, turrets and the anti air flak here actually do fire a bit preemptively sometimes when they're actually turning. Like after he was shooting these bombers and he turned over here, he fired two shots that hit nothing at all. Um, just gonna rotate him that way for no apparent reason whatsoever. Which is, it's common for all turrets. The AI uh, moves its its own, for instance, aiming reticle. It thinks it's aiming over there, because that's where it wants to aim. So it goes ahead and fires, but the actual turret has not repositioned over there, which is a little weird, but whatever. It's nothing game-breaking. I mean, they just waste two shots. For the howitzers, the level 3 howitzers specifically, it's a little bit worse, but they're not as bad about it because of the longer reload time. They don't have the constant nonsensical wasting of shells as they spin the turret around because more often than not, they're already reloading, so it doesn't matter. So, And we are at almost the last wave here. I'm going to kill these things and then hop out of my tank and prepare for the finale, which should be relatively easy because it's casual. And I'm using my uh, raffle through the train three flying pigs setup here. 
best way to kill the train, make a bunch of flying pigs. There's really nothing better than that. May as well rotate him around here. There we go. When you rotate the howitzers, it confuses the AI and they reset to zero, which would be... I'm going to point at the screen like an idiot, but which for him would be about over here. You saw him spin uh, or move the aimer to it. Sell these guys. Sell, sell. A bit more howitzers. These are basically emergency howitzers. If he gets to this point, he's probably already going to the toy box, so there's really very little chance you'll stop him if he's already at that point. But whatever. I mean, I'm loaded on cash, so I don't really see much of a point in not doing it. Go ahead and upgrade everything to three. Um, go ahead and grab this whippet tank, because there's actually a dude going over there. He'll probably get killed by the howitzers, but, or the mortar, sorry. But whatever. Actually, yeah, now this whippet tank's useless. So here we are, the final boss of the original game, the Railgun. Let me get over here and show it. There it is, the Railgun. One-shots every single turret in the game. Will one-shot your toy box if you let it. So there we go. This is why you want to... It's already shooting at stuff. What is it shooting at here? This is why you want those uh, mortars there, because they will literally just demolish it very rapidly. Luckily, it's missing a lot. Ooh. Yep, that guy's dead. And I just spent a bunch of money on him. How dare you? We should be... He's already halfway dead. We should be able to kill it with just these these uh, mortars here, but... We'll see. You need to rotate that way. May as well rebuild this mortar here. This is the layout you would optimally want for this encounter on normal or, uh, in my opinion, this is the optimal layout. What are those? I don't know, but my mortars are having issues with them. They're like mini train things. Interesting. It's just sitting back there waiting. Okay. Anyway, in my opinion, this would be the optimal layout that you would uh, want for this level on normal. The harder difficulties, I have no idea. I've never, ever completed this level on the harder difficulties, especially not Elite. This level on Elite would just be stupid, to be honest, because you would have to control every turret, and this kind of level is just obscene. What I can do, actually, is take control of this uh, flying pig here, and actually deal a ton more DPS, because you can actually fire three rapid shots like that. And what you can do... That's the bad firing mode, is actually uh, fire three shots, exit out, take control of this guy. Fire three shots, exit out, take control of this guy. Do the same exact thing over and over, and that's how you would do it on Elite, for instance, to maximize your DPS. Um, it's a really good way to max your DPS out, because that's obscene. You're basically... Um, he killed another one back there, that one's almost dead. Nah, I don't even care, he'll be dead the next time he comes out. But uh, depending on how many of these, you're, you're tripling each mortar's damage output, which is crazy because they already have pretty high damage outputs. And we have three here. The fastest I can do it myself is uh, between these two because of the reload time. I have no way to, or I don't have the ability or the skill or whatever to rapidly switch between all of them like that. You could probably do it. Uh, if you have them all set up to where they're already supposed to aim ahead of time, and then just use the hotkeys to switch around real quick. Um, I think you can actually rapidly switch between turrets. There's... I thought there was a hotkey for that, but I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and fire three there. Grabbing this one. I think he already shot, but whatever. Didn't. There we go. You can see how much faster... And he's dead already. You can see how much faster you could do it with uh, hotkeys, though. But anyway, he's dead. On casual, extremely easy. On normal, really quite difficult. Um, probably not going to go back and do that on normal. I have no real interest in that, to be honest. But that is the final level. That would be the layout that would be, in my opinion, uh, at least close enough to optimal for the boss. I don't know about the rest of the level, but I mean, it does well enough. It's just some of the waves on normal I'd get like horribly butchered on. But anyway, that's how you do it. We got a five times blast combo. But there you go. That is the end of the campaign. We unlocked all of the German equivalents. The entire German army, campaign plus, and survival mode. 
That's a lie, because you have survival mode from the get-go, I'm pretty sure. At least I thought you did. Maybe you can do German survival mode now, or something like that, I'm not sure. But that is that campaign, and uh, I will see you all for whatever comes in the future. I'm actually not really sure what's going to come in the future, but there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.